Your Majesty at your service. Welcome to Therapy and Talks. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of my podcast. There is always a way out. As it is the end of November, I thought I'd raise awareness of this month and focus the topic of conversation around what to do when you're feeling low and stuck. Movember, the month formerly known as November, is when brave and selfless men around the world grow a mustache and women and men all around the world step up to support them, all to raise awareness and funds for men's health, specifically prostate cancer, testicular cancer, mental health and suicide prevention. Awareness of men's mental health has increased over the years as the world is progressing the conversation around gender equality, tackling loneliness and suicide rates among men. And personally knowing men that have committed suicide, I have reflected on the depth of being in a dark place can have on on an individual and how impactful it is. So on today's episode, I'm speaking to those of us that can acknowledge moments, days, or seasons of our lives that we feel that there's no way out of situations that we may arise. It serves as a reminder that there's always a way out of any situation, which can result in us remaining an active participant in our lives here on earth. If you're currently in a moment of your life that you can't see a way out, I'm here to remind you that you're not alone in that feeling. And like many, you can and definitely will overcome this. The message in this episode is relevant and important to people of all gender identities. However, the focus today will be on men as Movember highlights things pertaining to men and their health. If you are a man or have men in your life, in the forms of family or friends, please take note of the things I will discuss today as it can be transformative and lead to actions being taken that will improve health outcomes for men all around the world. With so many events and celebratory things that we celebrate in this world, when you think of November, what do you think of celebrating? So the best way to celebrate this month is to encourage the men you love to be aware of their risk and know how to prevent problems. And you can do this all year round, but in November or in November, it's a a good reminder to check in with those that you love. So there are three main things that Movember highlights, which I'm going to share today. And the stats are very US influenced and every country will have their own numbers. So problem number one, Prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer among men after skin cancer. More than 2 million men in the US alone are cancer survivors. Several major factors influence risk, and some of them, unfortunately, cannot be changed. Risk factors include things like age, race, family history, and lifestyle. So when we look at age, men over 40 face higher risk and six in 10 cases are found after the age of 65. When considering race, we can see that prostate cancer is more common in people of African heritage and Caribbean men. They're two times as likely as white men to be diagnosed and it's less common in Asian and Hispanic men. Looking at family history can increase risk due to the presence of the tumor suppressing gene BRCA2, yet most cases have no family history. And when looking at lifestyle, an unhealthy diet, obesity, smoking, and a history of sexually transmitted diseases can increase risk. And just to reiterate, just because you may not be the, the atypical person because of your age, race, family history, or lifestyle, 
you can still get it, but it just increases your, your risk if you have any of these um, particular categories. The best prevention strategy in terms of tackling the prostate cancer is living a healthy lifestyle and early detection. Signs and symptoms include blood in the urine or semen, erectile dysfunction, pain in hips and spine, weakness in legs, and loss of bowel and bladder function. So if you're experiencing any of these things, please go look for a health professional and discuss this. The other cancer that Movember highlights is testicle cancer. So testicle cancer is the most common cancer in men ages 15 to 34. So you can see that this tackles or attacks a younger generation of men. Annual exams and early detection are key. Signs and symptoms may include lumps or swelling in the testicles and low, dull aches in the abdomen and groin. Testicle cancer can be cured, but the treatment may cause infertility. So if you know anyone around this age range, let them know about these things so that they can you know, look for themselves if this may be a problem or possibility for them. The earlier that these things are detected, the better the outcomes can be. The last thing that Movember highlights is men's mental health. So one in four adults experience mental health issues and the highest rate of depression is among men ages 40 to 59. On average, 87 men each day take their life by suicide in the US alone. Symptoms of depression include things like irritability, hopelessness, aggression, drinking or substance abuse, isolation from friends and family. A contributing factor, men who face mental health issues tend to tough it out and struggle alone. So preventing this includes that things like maintaining healthy relationships, talking to someone, and really being able to open up, and seeing your doctor if symptoms persist. So as much as you can talk to your friends and family, if these feelings and these symptoms become your everyday experience, it's best to see a professional. So when considering all of the prevention tactics for the cancer and mental health, it seems that it focuses on living a healthy lifestyle. This is not only in what you eat or keeping active, but also in how you interact with others. I encourage everyone, but especially men, to have meaningful relationships with the people in their lives. Friendships and healthy relationships with the various networks you have through work, communities, your family are very vital to your mental health being in a good place. I would encourage people and men to have regular health checks and understand their body so they can notice when symptoms that I discussed earlier are happening. My brother-in-law, or one of them, has an amazing company called Stayware. And just so you know, this is not being sponsored. So Shane, if you hear this, hiya. <laughs> so the message of uh, Stayware continues to push the message to find the strength to accept yourself. Life is meant to be lived with purpose and connection. We will all face challenges in our journey, but nobody should go through them alone. And I love this brand because it shows me and teaches me that there is always a reason to stay in your life. Even when you don't know what the reason is, others who see the value that you bring in their lives can let you know. And if you're ever in doubt, ask. Ask those that you know, what do I bring to your life? And they will let you know. 
So to all of my male listeners, and I know you're out there, just know that you are loved and valued by those around you. The statistics I've shared today are not positive, and this is why it's important to consciously make an effort to look after your health and well-being. You are not weak for showing vulnerability. So open up to trusted people in your life and appropriate health professionals. Your manhood will never be in question. Looking after your health and well-being is the most important thing. For those of us who have men in our lives, brothers, friends, family, romantic partners, spouses, husbands, and so forth, remind them of their value in your life. Encourage them to look after their health and be a safe space for them. Don't dismiss their feelings when they're expressing that to you, especially when they're opening up. Tell them that you love them for who they are and you have the confidence of, you know, who they're trying to be and all of the things that come along with it. I like to end this episode by just saying that suicide impacts everyone and sometimes I feel that being heard, being listened to can make the biggest difference to a person's life. So when I say show value or you are valued, I truly mean that. Sometimes only when someone has made a decision to end their life, you see all of the people that are impacted by this and the true impact it gives. So if you're feeling alone, that no one cares, just know that they do. Someone cares. So before you consider to make any choices, speak up and you'll see thank you very much for listening at the end of each episode I address the queendom even when you feel trapped there is a way out see things through as there are many lessons you can learn through your trials Overcoming and getting out of difficulties improve your ability to navigate through all the mazes of life. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of my podcast, Fairy Queen Talks. See you next time.